Hello there, everybody. This is Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we found the last, well, second to last magic stone. Well, basically the second magic stone. Whatever! In this episode, we are heading to the place where we suspect the final one to be. Somewhere around here. Okay. Oh my god, it's that thing from Little Rudolph. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hmm. Well, uh. So we can't do anything about that yet. So. We will be heading to Yule, the nearby town. Which is right over here. It's kind of hard to see in this area. I mean. Um, yeah, there's plenty of new enemies to see here, though, so that's really cool. <laughs> Cause it's cold. Uh, huh. Yeah. Oh, it's like Alaska. Yeah, man. Got those LED snow bulbs. Tom -tees? The heck? I'm surprised Esther didn't feel it first. You know? She got the most exposed skin. That's that could have gone so many bad ways. But there's plenty to do here! Yay! Can't wait for swift solutions. I'm not gonna get any pieces of heart quite yet. I don't feel it's necessary. Oh, well, uh, see what kind of hunts opened up now. Um. Sleigh Bell Hell? I'll accept it, just so it's accepted. And. Okay. Um, I guess we gotta talk to this big guy. Hey. Um, whatever. <laughs> uh, who's your teacher? This guy kind of reminds me of Fred Fred Burger. You know? Does anybody else see that? In a way, I mean, sure the color's a little bit off, sure there's no nose and no mouth, but I can see it. Oh, another cat. Hmm. Uh. uh she's obviously an Oliver fan, probably not a fan of mine. That sounds like a cat name. Tabitha. I don't freaking know. The, the Daily Yarn. Where the frick is Kirby? Hmm. I can't tell if it's a lisp. It, would that be considered a lisp? The, like, premium or something? Or is that just like... I don't know. I know it's for the character, but... Is it a lisp? Would it be a lisp? Or would that be something completely different? I, I don't know. I don't think you'll be finding many rocks in the freaking... You know... Freezer... Ruled by Articuno. I see. We have two of those stones. I wonder if it really did matter if... Like, the order you went about getting the stones. I know Yule takes the longest to do. That's why I'm doing it last. 
but I know the ghost ships that that's really easy simple you know quick uh what was the first one that was the vault of tears yes uh, does it matter what order are you going I know that this is the order I did but like in my first playthrough so I, I really don't know We all do, Swain. We all do. Whatever you say. Who is this village elder? Of course. I don't want to wait. Eh. Hmm. Well. I don't like waiting. Thank you. I suppose. Anyway, uh, any new errands by chance that I could do right now? Uh, frick, I don't know. Screw it. Let's just look for stuff, you know, explore a little bit before we actually do what we're supposed to. Um, so the shop is actually outside, so maybe he sells some popsicles. Hmm. Well, no popsicles here. He doesn't sell Pixie Doos and some strong coffees. That's pretty good. But, he does sell cappuccinos. However, as you can see, they're a pretty penny. So, I doubt I'll be buying any. I do kind of want to get some blazing blades for this next area. Because, if you couldn't guess, pretty much everything around here is weak to fire. In most ways. So... You know, it would actually be very beneficial for me to get at least one. Because I think I have another thing here as well. And it also wouldn't be bad to get a Tundra Shield or Sasquatch Pelt. It just depends on the characters, really. And they sell Snow Radishes and Caramels for synthesizing purposes. So, I believe those two are unique to this place. But I'm not for certain. Alright, so you have the Night Blade. That's... Pretty good. Uh, you really need the resistance to water, so I'm just... Uh, yeah, let's buy... Let's buy one for you. Buy one for Mighty. Um, buy one for the Fire Fries. Uh, buy one for Go-Go. Why the hell did I make him that? Oh, man, now I'm regretting it. Well, first of all, you don't need the flame robes anymore. So you can have a rubber robe for all I care. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Okay, um, anything else? Well, to be honest, you're going in the back. Mm, yeah, uh, you are actually going to be a bit of a use. It's actually decent. Um, I'll give you that, and I think I'll keep the fire fry. I, I don't know what I want to do right now. Um, I, I do want to do that, though. I know that. Um, that's basically as much as I want to do right now. Um, yeah, because Mighty definitely needs a water shield. Because I like using Mighty, but when I can't... When he's like this, you know, it makes it not good. Uh, yeah. Um, I can probably just equip another, a different shield to... Chinchu, I don't know what his defense is right now. Oh, well, okay, it's 62. Uh, we'll see. And... I need to buy two of these. Here we go, and here we go. Link doesn't really need one. Uh, so that's pretty much all the defensive stuff to buy. Um, I kind of want to keep... Uh... Cosmo Chris with what he has, so I think I might just buy one Blazing Blade and equip it to Mighty, 
And I believe there's something else I want to get. Uh, I kind of want to get two iceworm tusks for my for the most used familiars because I want Chinchu to level up a little bit first before I actually get him a pretty good weapon because I don't know if I'm going to use him that long anyway. Plus, he does get the dragon tusk now, so um, yeah. Uh, okay, I gave you that. I give you that. But do you have anything? better yes you do all right and i think that's about all i want to do right now uh yeah seems legit all right so we're ready in that aspect oh hey treasure chest uh where is it the spring lock spell and let's see what we can get it is a blunt gem hmm whoop de doo And we get a phoenix feather. I like that, though. And a frosty flan. Oh, yes. Very good defensive... I... Well, defensive razor. Oh, screw you! I hate you. Maybe I can, like, get some of those familiars as I'm heading out, because I might go... I don't know. I don't know yet. Let's just... I, I hate how I have to freaking pay 240 to advance the game. Did I not get all of these? No, I think I did. Because the last place we went to, which was the Vault of Tears, I didn't have this, so I should be good. Yeah. Well, well, it is you, the famous Alicia. To what do I owe this pleasure? I see. So you have come to do battle. How very unwise. And you a great sage. <clears throat> what do you hope to achieve? You know that all magic is powerless in my presence. <laughs> Foolish girl, I have just the place for you. A prison of eternal darkness. I don't know how to respond to that kind of a dream. Well, it's not a dream, it's technically a nightmare, I suppose. Yeah, that's why we came here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, treasure! Woohoo! And another thing. Oh, sweet, the cheeseburger is probably frozen, like how every fast food restaurant does. But the cheeseburger, I'll use Fireball to heat it up. Yeah, seems legit. Oh, boy, so I gotta talk to people again. Oh, boy. Oh. Let's see. Hello, dude. What's up? I uh, frick, I don't know. The swag. The old old. Oh, item! Item! Let me get the item! Ah! Yes. Whee! Okay, there we go. Uh, ooh, Ruby Ripple ice cream. That is one of the best um, evasion level ups oh my god so good oh we have four huh you see 
In this playthrough, I've done things a lot differently than I did in my first playthrough. I I used these like they were money growing on a tree. And later on in the game, when I didn't know how to make them, well, I got screwed over. And thus, I haven't gotten some trophies, even though that might not matter to most. But I was like, I will complete this game. But I never did, because I couldn't get these stats uh, to be the best. And to get those trophies for being the best. Uh, shut up, Drippy. Yes, I am, Travelers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She told you right! Yeah, I'll make a snow familiar. Yeah. Why, thank you, sir! Huh? Tiny, this is proper cozy, like. <laughs> we got a swag of winter clothes, swagger. All right, so that's pretty much half of the stuff we can do here in Yule. Um, obviously, I didn't go through all of it because, well, I don't want to do that yet. So. There are quite a number of new enemies here, um, outside of Yule, and there are some that I do want to get for one of those quests later on. Here we have some Jabber Guppies and a Sasquatch. I believe the Sasquatch is one of them that I want to get, but I can wait a little bit. So with our new fiery sword, yes, it's very beast. I mean, look at this, 50 plus per attack. Oh boy, I I kind of want to see how Cosmo Chris would do. Let's see. Well, he's he doesn't have the best on him, and I might actually go back and switch out because I don't. Now that I have better options, okay, this guy isn't weak to fire at all, but uh, now that I have better options and especially better options overall, considering what we're going to be dealing with in this next area. I might go back and get another Blazing Blade or whatever they're called. So we got a Moon Crystal. Not too shabby. Alright. Um, I don't want to deal with another one. So that's two out of some. I believe that this is the second form of the Sasquatch, considering it's... Yes, there they are, Sasquatches. And they're basically just evolved Sasquatches. Mm, nothing too special. I like... I like the Sasquish family though, because it they become like a they, they really do become a family uh, if you have all of them, you know, fully evolved and stuff. Because uh, one of them, one of the evolved ones, is uh, what's it called? Is like a female. The other one's a male. It's kind of weird, but hey, I I think it's pretty cool that they actually keep it similar. Not being like, oh, well, this is the uncle, you know, and stuff like that. But, yeah. Alright. Sweet and mighty level up. Now I can evolve him. Woo! Because I wanted him to learn slice and dice. Uh, that is a lot of MP. Uh, I'll get rid of Smash It. I don't want too many terribly large MP using things. Alright, um... First of all, take off the blazing blade. Um, there we go. Put it on you. It does lower your attack, but I am not taking damage per hit, so... You know, I can deal with it. Um, go, I'll just... I'll just give you the burning blade for now. Um, just in case I actually end up using you at some point. Um, but... Our main purpose here is to make him his, one of his final forms. Now, you can get the Mermite later. Um, this is such a tough decision for this area. But at the same time, what is better overall? See, the defense you can change drastically. 
and it's only a difference of three. Plus, you can find the Mermite later on pretty commonly, so I'm not even sure if you can find Dynamite. At least Gavin didn't know, so I assume that you, it's probably hard to find if you can find it at all. So I'm just going with Dynamite. It's the one I used in my first playthrough, and I don't mind using it again. So, okay. Um, any other changes I want to make? Not really, no. Okay. Um, wait. Uh, anything I want to change? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm good to go. Just need to heal up a little bit. Oh, whoops. Okay. There we go. Alright. Um, let's find some more things. Um, here we got these guys. Oh, swing! Got these mangler fishes. Oh boy. Uh, well, I, I have to put in Cosmo now. So, let's see what he does. Okay, these guys are weak to fire, so that's really good, especially with Cosmo and his beastiness. I, I really have to thank my buddy for, uh, uh, telling me to use this, and don't I have something good for Cosmo to use as defense? I guess not. Uh, I guess I'll just switch that out. I, I thought I did, but apparently it's not enough. I took like 68 on one hit. And level up's pretty good. Alright. Getting that accuracy and attack. Again, I'm going to wait on Chinchu a little bit. Um, another thing is like, again, you can change these stats to your liking, so... That's why I don't think it's that big of a deal to worry about stats. I think it's more of a concern to worry about the moves, actually. I know I haven't been demonstrating that as much, but in, I think that it should be a little bit more important than stats. They sh The stats should play effect. And a, what's the word? I'm. It should play a role, but not a complete overhaul of what you plan to do. So... Yeah, because you can affect those at any time. Um, yeah, he has a Sasquatch pelt. I have no idea why he took so much damage on that one hit. That's probably why. It's a little, it's a little more defense than he does, and he's also a lower level. Um, but the attack is was much better though. Not only that, but the attack speed as well. So we got a Lotus Bubba and Ice Queens. You get a Lotus Bubba if you have the chance. Not because it's the best familiar, because I highly doubt it is. Uh, but because you need it for a Swift Solution quest. So if I can get it while I'm out here, that that's just perfect. But if not, I could care less. Because I will be getting it anyway at some point or another. Uh, some of these enemies, like the Sasquishes, you can find in the Glittering Grotto, which is where we need to go next. But... Enemies like the Lotus Bubbids? No, you cannot. So, yeah, gotta get those while you can. Well, actually, that's all the time. But, so we got a Snowflake. That's actually pretty good for alchemy. Um, if you ever want some, like, frozen plans, it really helps with that, because you need- Oh, them. hey! I got a Sasquish! Yay! Alright, I'll take it. I mean... I don't know if these guys are that good, but I'll do a little research on my downtime and we'll see how everything goes with them. Um, so let's take out the Sasquatch. Maybe I can get a Sasquatch? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Golden Glim, heal me! Yes! Okay. <laughs> I don't. I think somebody healed me though before that. Oh well. So, more level ups. Sweet. Man, look at that evasion on Tiny. I mean, 161, is that affected by the equipment I have on him by chance? I have no idea. I, I could care less what his name is. Uh, let's, let's look. Uh, what was it? It was you. Uh, no, because he's got nothing to raise his evasion. I mean, look at this. It's just a fire seal, which he doesn't... Okay, it, he does need, actually. Um, but not right now, anyway. Uh, so, it's there. You know, the evasion. That's really key. Um, any more enemies? A few. Um, I think my main objective right now is to just find some of the areas where you can uh, forge stuff. 
because, you know, foraging is important. Um, not so right now, you might think, but later on, it if you forage throughout the game and consistently throughout the game, it's really beneficial. Ooh, teal wood. That that's for some synthesizing. Um, I, this might be the only place you can get it aside from enemy drops. Uh, I'm not too certain about the enemy drops part, but uh, you know, it's there. Um, there's also this. This is Jack Frost's playground. I kid you not. That is what this is called. See? Well, um, I. Is there anything to be had here? Not right now. Oh, something right here. Um, there will be a hunt here later on in the game. Um, I'm not sure if it's your traditional hunt, but there will be a hunt of some sort. Uh, any other enemies, though, around here? I know there are enemies. Um, just want to see if there's any unique ones at all. Right now, I'm not seeing any. Oh. We got a frozen gear over here. Oh, sweet niblets! Where did you come from? Oh, hey, an adamant tiger. So, yeah, here, here's an adamant tiger if you didn't go with that. Um, are, is adamant tiger weak to fire? No, it is not. We just got the ice scene. Maybe I can get an adamant tiger. Oh. Can't always get what you want. Anyway, Weepy Fowl is weak to that. Oh god, is Cosmo prepared for that? He, okay, he's not weak to it at all. I'm not too worried. Alright, get the Weepy Fowl. And yes. Now, none of these enemies, at least that are in this battle, are required for anything at all. So, I wouldn't worry about them. Alright. Took him out. And level ups. Ooh, a cold, a cold stone. I. There's a cold stone. <laughs> what? Hmm. Okay. I honestly had no idea there was a cold stone. Ooh, a fog drop. Those, those are really nice. There's some synthesizing items that require those, and I could never find them because I'm too lazy. All right, so we got a cog denser. Uh, are these guys weak to fire by chance? See, I suppose they were, and I suppose correctly. Uh, I want to get an all-out attack going, and come on, can I get it first try? No, I didn't think so. I can never get. Fam okay, I take that back. I can actually get. You can get familiars the first time you see them. It's just getting familiars in general is kind of difficult, so don't worry about them. Well, like, don't cry a river if you can't get a familiar. Yeah. At least I'm getting some decent level ups from this. Uh, let's see. A single enemy, crosswind. Uh, I'm getting rid of Thunderspark. Ooh, Wambo can metamorph. I think it's quite obvious which Wambo I was going with. Oh, but I can't do it right now. I want him to learn that wind tunnel move. Um, any more enemies at all? Well, there's one up there that looks like the clickety clanky, the swaggity swag. Uh, maybe n it might be something else. There's probably some more enemies in the water, too. Okay, there's nothing over there. Um... I, I do want to go into the water around Yule, but the problem is... There's... Oh, there is actually a port I could use, but the ship... is in Castaway Cove. However, I actually haven't gone through everything. Damn, that, that was bright right there. Uh, alright. Oh, an, an item. Swag. And it is another piece of teal wood. Hmm. I'm liking this. And, um... Not, not much else. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, we will be heading to the Glittering Grotto. Oh, but first, uh, item, because I need the items. <laughs> 
Let's just get that real quick. And with that, we get another... Ooh, two snowflakes. That was definitely worth it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.